continuously so in the scale environment we will see how we can do it so first of all here is the code for toggling the port p1 of 8051 so here first of all i have included a library h51.h for 805 microcontroller and in the next line we have started our main loop then in the main loop we have assigned a character i that we are using in the for loop then in while loop we have assigned 0 0 value to the port p1 and then we have taken a for loop for generating some delay uh, make sure you put semicolon here so if you are putting a semicolon it will not go to the next line means the next statement will not be included in this for loop so we are terminating your for our for loop here and then so it will generate some delay uh, don't know uh, how much amount of delay but it will generate for iterating the loop so in the next line we have to assign the value ff so it will toggle 0 0 to ff ff is all one eight ones which eight bits which are eight bits so and then again we have taken some delay here so let's see what happens so first of all you have to build this code okay and then you have to go to your debug mode and you have to open a port p1 from here peripherals and port p1 okay and you can run your code from debug tab and run so you can see it is toggling you can also see it in your logic analyzer window just open your logic analyzer window from here this is the icon of logic analyzer window or you can go to view menu and then open logic analyzer window you can set up here your port from here this is the new you have to click on it new then write just p1 and hit enter okay so now you can close it and you can see your port p1 is toggling from 0 to ff you can also see how much amount of delay it is generating so for that you have to open your performance analyzer here is the window of performance analyzer you can do it from here or you can open it from your view menu okay that's so this is your performance analyzer you just right click and set up performance analyzer set up pa here is the main function actually it is not it will not see us we cannot see the delay because we have not assigned uh, a function it is only applicable to functions so if you want to see you have to generate a function for that so let's do it let's make a function void wait okay and in this you can put your for loop okay and you here you can declare your function okay and in this line you just call your function okay 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 that's it now let's build it okay we have some errors here we were missing it and again it is showing us okay and i okay we can take it character i okay and sign character i okay Okay, 
this is an OS now. Now we can go into debug mode and run our code. Okay. Now in the performance analyzer, we can set up a performance analyzer. You can see our function here. Just double click on it and define it and close our window and you can click on wait function and you can see here the delay amount it is nearly six uh, seven six nine microseconds okay so this is